When we return to our planet, the High Court may well sentence you to torture. Greetings! You're watching Septum Sin vs. the World. I'm Septum Sin. Today we're going to review something special. We're going to review The Occultist. Now, if you remember on our Camp Blood Kills review, I noticed there were two films. Okay, two films that were left out Axe Grinder and the occultist now i have yet to be able to afford axe grinder but once i do it's going to be reviewed because i am not going to let this film be done with something that was in the material that i have yet to see so that i can actually rewatch it and enjoy all of it from the vantage point of knowing it so the occultist however though out of print, was not hard to track. Unfortunately, my version of The Occultist was badly scratched, but playable, thank God. So, what exactly is The Occultist? We are at a school for doctors. People who want to be surgeons one day. But amongst them are people who are studying the dark arts and therefore are practicing in human sacrifice through odd surgical means, transcribing different phrases on the fingers in order to gain great power and summon Satan. We have two heroes who are finding out about what's going on. I have a kitty cat. You see? You see him? Yep, there he is. And he's going to go. Woo! And there he goes. Okay, in any case, there are two heroes. One, a virgin. One who is definitely not a virgin. And they are looking up and trying to find out what this is all about. Well, we have a pretty decent set here. For those of you who love gore, you have plenty of gory scenes of them doing surgeries on these individuals, their victims. Uh, one in particular you can see here uh, where they rip an actual baby out of the womb of a woman. Uh, it has some fun occultish moments. And I do kind of like the relationship between the two main characters in this movie. And the ending is kind of fun. That's pretty much the whole of it. The music's kind of meh. The acting's kind of meh. <laughs> and the effects are okay. But enough to mildly turn the stomach, if that's your thing. <laughs> So let's talk about the bad. I really felt like the bad about this is that it tended to run, just kind of run on. I, I didn't remember a lot of this film, tell you the truth. It's one of those that I looked at and was just like, mm, okay. I'm, I'm just not, I wasn't all that impressed one way or the other by the story. It went by, and again, not bad for what it is. I really just didn't have much to say about it, uh, about the bad. I mean, I think that really is the reason why I would say that is the bad. I want to 
be impressed for the good or for the bad of a film. I don't want to go through a film and try and remember what I watched. Who knows where thoughts come from? They just appear. Mm -hmm. And this was one of those films. But, for all intents and purposes, if you like gory stuff, The Occultist is definitely where it's at. They have a few special features on here. Nothing big. I think there's a few like uh, trailers on here. Not the best edition DVD, so it's not going to really positively or negatively influence. But I would give The Occultist a 5 out of 10. One that's not so bad. One that I think I'm definitely going to have to rewatch in the future. But not one that I'm going to be running back to the TV screen. This has been Septum Sin, and this has been another movie review. Goodbye. And we're back with another YouTube shout out. This time, we're going to be shouting out The Lewis Switcher Show. This, to me, is the pinnacle of what a Blu-ray and DVD collecting channel can be. I say this because he puts these things together in a very solid way. You get to see a lot of travel. You get to see a lot of adventure, you get to see the pickups, and it's usually accompanied by one kick-butt soundtrack. This man knows his music, he knows his movies, and I've been enjoying this channel not long after its inception. This is a very small channel, much like my own. We only really are a difference of maybe 10 subscribers at best. And that's a shame. This guy should be in the thousands of subscribers. He has an excellent, and I mean this excellent channel, with an excellent quality, and I am hoping to see more out of him. He's gone on a hiatus. He went on hiatus for a while, but the Lewis Switcher Show is up and running. And if you haven't checked it out, and you enjoy these types of content, you too should be enjoying the Lewis Switcher show. Check him out. You'll see a link in the description below. <laughs>